Did you ever follow up with uh, Matthew McConaughey? Have you ever heard this story? No, what's the story? When you move to an old Hollywood neighborhood, you'll see a celebrity in that neighborhood. And you go, why is that person here? Well, because they lived in that neighborhood before they made it. And that's where Matthew used to have his cars when he was broke. And one day I'm sitting upstairs with Ralphie, and he's like, you see this motherfucker out here? Ralphie had a screen on his window. You could see out, but you couldn't see in. And Ralphie would sit there in the afternoons and go, Matthew McConaughey, you suck. <laughs> 15, 20 minutes. And after a while, Matthew McConaughey would throw his wrench down and go, who the fuck is saying that up there? <laughs> fuck you. And the next day again, and then he would start with Matthew McConaughey, you owe me seven fifty for the wedding singer, whatever that fuck is. <laughs> <laughs> but he couldn't see us, but we could see him. <laughs> And it was like a torture chamber for like three months. Every time he went back there, Matthew McConaughey. I'm not listening to you, motherfuckers, today. But every day we had a war with him. And hey, you've never connected with McConaughey about this?